As the world economy slows down, questions have emerged about the strange ways a tiny microscopic virus could have brought down the major economies in the world. Questions have been raised about the origin of the virus, resulting in theories and claims ranging from natural causes, such as transmission of the COVID-19 virus directly from animals in the wet markets in Wuhan, China, to human beings infected from a more primitive virus which mutated to the COVID-19 while in the human body. Also, there have been claims and discussions about the intentional creation of the virus in laboratories with various theories of how it was let out or leaked. The message of our program is that regardless of the origin of the virus and the various theories of its transmission, it is critical that our listeners do not ignore the safety precautions necessary to protect themselves from the virus. Further, it is critical that our listeners do not ignore the specific message of this program given before and after the coronavirus outbreak. We need to build our immune system in a manner consistent with protecting our bodies from infectious diseases, from toxins in the environment, and from the deterioration of various organs and systems of the body by depriving them of the nutrients they dearly need. Following through on our commitment to discuss the nutrition critical to our health, we discussed some research on the relationship between walnuts and the cognition of the elderly, looking at the pros and cons of research that failed to find a productive correlation. We also talk about an important study conducted by a variety of institutions, including the Centers for Disease and Prevention, the National Cancer Institute, and the National Institute of Aging, which showed a very positive correlation between longevity in elderly people and the amount of walking they do by essentially mechanically counting steps ranging from 4,000 to 8,000 to 12,000 a day. Another study correlating exercise with cardiovascular health found valuable results through half an hour of brisk walking twice a week. Also in these troubled times, remember to keep healthy, stay at a social distance, and stay at home as directed.